All right, so this is going to be the third part of our series on Don Marx's essay, Why Abortion is Immoral. And in this video, we're going to be speaking directly to what he thinks is the best explanation for the wrongness of killing, right? Assuming that it is wrong. You can think about this in terms of trying to figure out what the essence of the wrongness of killing actually is. So let's get right into it. Marcus thinks that it's an unproblematic assumption, something that we should all agree with, right? That killing you or killing me is seriously wrong, seriously immoral. Why? What is the best explanation for that? Intuitively, we think that it would be absurd to think that killing you or killing me is morally fine. So we need an explanation. And recall that this is an abductive argument. So it's supposed to be an appeal to the best explanation. And then assuming that, uh, that it is wrong, that we've got the best explanation, then he's going to try to apply it not to just killing you or killing me, why that's seriously wrong. But then he's going to also try to apply that to the case of abortion. Why would it be morally wrong to kill you or me? That's what we're trying to figure out. One thing that we could say is it's brutal, right? It's just super brutal to kill a person. So that's one explanation. Of course, Marcus thinks that it's not a good explanation. He says, quote, but the brutalization consists of being inured, or think about that in terms of accustomed, uh, to the performance of an act that is hideously immoral. Hence, the brutalization does not explain the immorality of killing. So yes, it may be brutal, um, but that's just something that we've been accustomed to thinking. It's not itself an explanation of the wrongness of killing. There's a lot of things that we might think are, um, are really brutal, but not actually immoral. So the brutality itself doesn't explain it. Another thing that we could say is that when you kill someone, it takes away their loved ones or their family. So if, uh, if you kill me, then maybe my daughter's harmed, or maybe my wife is harmed, or maybe my family members. Likewise, if I kill you, presumably there's people you know that would be harmed in some way. So this is kind of an indirect uh, explanation of the wrongness of killing. And Marcus is going to reject this as well. For example, it would not explain why it would be wrong to kill a hermit. Right? A hermit, somebody who has, you know, swear, sweared off all family and ties to the external world and so forth. Or it simply maybe it wouldn't explain somebody who doesn't have any friends or family. Not because they're a hermit, but maybe they're just a loner of some kind. So it wouldn't explain why it might be wrong to kill them. So what, he's, what Marcus is going to say is the wrongness of killing has to be tied to the wrongness that's done to the victim itself. So if you kill me, then some wrong has come to me as a victim. Or if I kill you, some wrongness, some, some badness takes place to you. You are harmed. So it's going to be a direct wrong to the victim itself. What exactly would we mean by that? What exactly are we saying when we say that you are wronged as a victim if you are killed? Well, Marcus puts the point like this. He says, quote, the loss of one's life is one of the greatest losses one can suffer. The loss of one's life deprives one of all experiences, activities, projects, and enjoyments that would otherwise have constituted one's future. Therefore, killing someone is wrong, primarily because the killing inflicts one of the greatest possible losses on the victim. So this is kind of one of the famous quotes that comes out of uh, Marcus's essay. Here, he's really getting into the fact that when the victim is killed, the victim loses something, something of really, really great value. The experiences, the activities, the projects, and so forth that constitute one's life, but also one's future life, right? And assuming that this is a valuable future life, according to Marcus, this is extremely important to you. And when you lose that, when it's taken away from you, you are harmed in some way. And that is the basic idea behind the essence of why killing is wrong, the basic explanation that, that he offers us.